keep that desire to yield the results that you've always wanted. Remember, the harvest card also made me think about manifestation, and I talked about that already. Let's go ahead and get tarot on that. Show me the energy of harvest spirit, please. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And give it to us straight, no chasing. I feel like there will be no more juggling. If you guys were juggling between two different decisions, I think that a decision is going to be made on what you should focus on and maybe even who you should focus on. That's just left up to you guys, whatever manifests and resonates for you. I just saw the queen of wands. So to me, that's an energy of definitely um, um, making a decision and taking action. We have the five of wands here. So this juggling or maybe the lack of being able to juggle is what caused conflicts at some point in time, but conflicts that brought about a change, okay? Let's see what else is going on here with the harvest. I feel like, you guys, we had to fight. Someone had to fight for this. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. Somebody is going to be putting a burden down or they're carrying a heavy burden, all because they are literally unsatisfied, discontent. They know that there's something missing. Their focus has been elsewhere. I get an energy of distraction from here too, which I'm not understanding why this is all clarifying the harvest card. Spirit, show me more, please. Thank you. All right, we got the not. See, somebody hasn't been doing what they really desired. They've just been working tediously, feeling like they're they're alone. Even if they're in a connection, they've been working by themselves. But this isn't going to be the harvest anymore. This is not what this person wants. It may be what they've been manifesting, though, because they've been maybe not being honest. But here we go. Here comes the change. Here comes the newness. Here comes the student. It may be after a period of confusion, heartbreak, a third-party situation, guys. This person is going to now be ready to be a student. They're going to be ready to learn after this heartbreak. Somebody could reach out via social media, telephone, the lovers. That's, that's that union to me. That's the union coming together. And I see these people as both fighters and warriors. Underneath the deck, I'm seeing the Seven of Wands. Somebody might be guarded against this when it happens, when somebody comes in talking about they want to be together, they want to be in union. Somebody might be like, uh-uh, what happened? Why now? You know, why now? Anywho, let's move on, guys, to the wedding card. Now, the overall energy from the Romance Angels deck, we have the engagement card and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment I said that already I want to say with the thinking woman card or even with the harvest card and just with the victory energy I said it I said it with the heart chakra energy y'all can go back and watch it from the beginning we're not gonna we're not gonna be redundant here okay something is changing you guys something is leveling up now the actual card that came out is wedding the situation involves marriage. Some of you guys, yes, you are already in a marriage. It could have been separated and it's going to come back again. For others of you guys, this is what you've been desiring. This is what you've been manifesting. And guess what? It is here and it is coming. It's here and it's coming. It's here. It's the end result. It's the end result. <laughs> it's the end result. I, I had to say that. I don't know if I said that three times, but I just felt the need. All right. We got a lot of cards that just came out, guys. I am seeing... Look at this. Look at this here. We got the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Six of Cups energy, past life love, exes, maybe someone from your childhood that you always had fond memories of, or if it's not your childhood, any part of your past, okay? Any part of your past where there were nostalgic memories, memories of happiness. I also feel like somebody is reminiscent about their wedding. Someone is reminiscent about their marriage and their commitment to you. Who's reminiscing? I feel like it's the male here. It's the male here that's reminiscing. They could have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in their chart. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like they are an ex or they are someone um, who when you guys come together, you're going to feel as if you've been friends for a long time. You're going to feel like 
uh, you've always known each other because you have. In a past life, you guys have known one another. Or this is the soulmate energy card. Some of you guys are going to be meeting your soulmate. Whether new or returning, okay? And when I say new, I just mean maybe in this lifetime. But in lifetimes before, you you guys have met each other. Let's see what, uh, some more about the wedding. Page of Wands. Someone's gonna, somebody's getting inspired. And they're going to take action. Their feelings are leading the way. They're no longer going to be repressing feelings. That person could have Libra in their chart. Or this is about connection. This is about partnerships and relationships. Soul contracts. Marriages. Commitment, business partnerships. And most importantly for me, this is about karma. Balance being restored. Truth being revealed. All things being made clear. With that, I'm going to end this reading. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck right now. And look at this. We are back to the sun card. That's that clarity, guys. I'm going to put it out here now. That's that clarity. That's that success. The joy, the happiness from living in the light. Happiness from living in the truth. This is beautiful. Peace, love, light, and darkness, which works together to bring balance and harmony, first within ourselves and then within our world. It has been my pleasure. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how it resonates for you guys. And also, you guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It is free, and it helps me. I love you guys. Bye until next time.